Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. The Bindy Beat down here, Michael, at your most humble service. It is Thanksgiving evening. Now it's about 4.30 or so in the, in the evening. I'm running a little bit behind. I uh, hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving if you celebrate it. If not, well, okay. Uh, I don't blame you. Too much food. So with our Thanksgiving, uh, we have our personal Thanksgiving uh, here at our house on Wednesday. And then Thursday, we typically have uh, a Thanksgiving at my wife's parents' house. And then over at my sister's house is where uh, kind of the rest of our family and that on my side go and gather. And uh, so I've already had a little meal yesterday, and then I had a little meal around lunch or so over at my wife's, and then over at my sister's, I had a little bit more so. I've had my share, and I've even had some dessert. I let myself enjoy things a little bit, but I just ate a little bit here, a little bit there. I didn't, like, stuff myself, so I really don't even care a whole lot for the kind of foods and all that stuff, to be honest. I'd, I'd rather have a cheeseburger and a burritos or something. I don't know, but it's just not my thing anymore the older I get, uh, but I still enjoy some of it. So today is... Thursday, and if you follow my channel, uh, you know that today is my shoulder day. Now, I had plans to go all out and do uh, dumbbell shoulder presses, and most likely I was going to go up and press the 100s again, Whew. but I don't know. I'm not feeling much like getting into the heavy weights right now. I'm just full. I'm tired. I'm going to be honest. I should have worked out early today before we did anything. I did my walk. I did my span. I ate some of my normal good, healthy stuff. And it just, uh, it kind of happens. Uh, you know, sometimes, sometimes you can get away with it. And sometimes it comes back to get you. But right now I could probably go to sleep if I wanted. <laughs> you know how that is sometimes whenever you get overly uh, full and, uh, it's dark out, it's a little drizzly and sprinkly misty out. It's just one of those days where you could sleep. So I know we're a long, uh, a long ways in the little intro here, but I just kind of wanted to touch base with everybody and uh, again, wish everybody a good Thanksgiving and all that good stuff. So uh, we are gonna do some working out. Uh, basically, we're gonna have two movements. We're gonna do dumbbell, uh, sitting dumbbell shoulder presses and some low cable uh, side lateral raises. And I've already got some weight on the machine. I'm going to start with this. I initially had it where I was starting out with the sitting dumbbell presses. But. Did I just yawn? I think I just yawned. <sighs> anyway, guys. Uh, we're going to start out with the cable side lateral raises. Because I want to just kind of warm my shoulders up real good. And that's basically all I was going to do with this movement anyways. Just kind of burn them up a little bit and wear them out. Uh, we only have 10 pounds on the machine, actually. A five on each side. Uh, without any weight at all. Uh, I did the, you know, I've, I've done the movement without the weight. And I swear it feels like there's probably five pounds or so of resistance uh, as it is. Now, of course, I get, that has to do with lifting that carriage up in the back, you know, with the horns and all that. So, you know, that does have its own weight. So it, it's a good five or ten pounds maybe. So, uh, but I, I, I went ahead and I just put fives on each side. So, uh, yeah, we're going to start with this. And I'm sorry for the long intro, but let's go ahead and do a, a couple of clips of this. And uh, I don't do this movement all, all the time very often. But it is a good movement. I just don't do it very often. So let's get this going, guys. Get the show on the road and get this over with so we can relax, okay? Let's get it. All right. So here we go. I'm gonna do it nice and controlled as we can and uh, get a good warm up for our shoulders and that way we can tackle the dumbbell presses. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, that was one set, guys. I'm gonna do four more sets of those. I'm not gonna bore you too much with this movement because I know it's not super uh, impressive to watch people do those. But uh, if you never use the cable, consider using the cable. It gives you a little different feel. It keeps a constant tension on the shoulder versus dumbbells. Uh, they both give you a different feel. Mix and match things, enjoy yourself. Stick around, guys, because after I get done with this, we're gonna head onto the sitting dumbbell shoulder presses. So stick around and keep doing your stuff today. Don't give up. Be awesome. All right, guys, here we are ready to do some dumbbell presses. Starting out with the 30s. Guys, we got the eighties.
set of the 80s. And just like that, we are done with the workout. So I didn't set any records as far as um, my 100 pounds goes. Uh, I would have had to get out, I think, seven reps. But uh, you can always make yourself proud by getting in the gym anyways, especially when you're full on turkey and uh, some desserts. And getting in there and getting the job done. And whether or not I would have done the 100s or not, I still would have been pretty happy with my workout as long as I went up to the 80s and uh, got a few sets of those. But I went ahead and I made myself proud and I managed to squeeze out a few reps with the 100s. They were tough. They were pretty tough. But uh, overall, I'm happy, proud, still doing them, no problem. So uh, I want to touch on a question of the day, as I'll call it. I had a guy that just commented on one of my bench press videos. Uh, I think it was an incline bench press that I just did. Um, he basically, uh, he just said, why no collars? And that was pretty much the, his question. Why no collars? <sighs> well, that leads me to believe a couple things here. One, the if you ask that question, you probably don't work out. Number two, if you ask that question, you haven't been working out long enough. So let me answer it. The reason that you do not use collars when you're bench pressing on a bar is because if you get stuck and that weight comes down on you, you want to have the opportunity to dump that weight off if you don't have any help there to help you get that weight off of you. So leaving the collars off allows you to dump the weight and dump the weight. Technically, it's gonna be you dumping the weight, that weight's gonna fall off, and this end's weighted down, so it's gonna dump itself. <laughs> so there's, there's no real dumping dumping. It's you dumping and then the bar saying, screw you, and you're dumping that weight. That is for a safety reason why you don't use collars. So for those of you that are wondering oh, why some of us don't use collars, you're going to notice that most of your serious lifters do not use collars. And that is the reason why. And uh, also with that, it also leads to speedy plate, plate changes, especially if you are working out with people and you're doing like some drop sets or, or uh, climbing sets, whatever those are called. My brain just left me. Or you got people that are using different amounts of weights and all that without the collars. It allows you to hurry and strip the weights put weights on and all that. So there's a few reasons. So that's the answer to your question as to why we don't use collars when we bench press. Now, when we shoulder press, when we barbell shoulder press, you want to use collars. Michael, what's the difference? Well, the difference is you got a weight up here above your head. And if that weight shifts at all, that's going to be a whole lot different story coming down on you like this than it would be when you're benching and it's coming down like this. 
So you want to make sure that your collars are on when you're doing barbell shoulder presses. For those reasons, uh, it's just uh, for that reason, it's definitely a, a safety concern. So that's the that's the difference in reasons. And you'll go back and and you'll look at my videos where uh, when you see me barbell shoulder press, you're going to see me putting some collars on. Now, if I'm up in the light light weight, I might forget or I might not do it. But then once I get up into any sort of significant weight, they start going on. So anyway, guys, I hope this gives you some inspiration uh, to get your workouts done, even on days uh, like today, holidays, or maybe days you're tired and you don't really feel like doing it. Uh, you're overstuffed. And uh, if you would, uh, just uh, please leave some comments. Let me know if I've inspired you in any way, shape, or form. And please, in those comments as well, Tell me what you're doing, uh, goals that you're going for and reaching and things you're proud of. It don't even have to be workout related. Uh, anything in life that you want to share, go for it because that makes us all feel good and uh, sends a good positive vibe to the community. And that's what we need, guys. So anyway, please like, share, subscribe, comment. Oh. Of that good stuff to the body beat down. That's me, Michael. Your insane host. All right, don't forget, get up, get out, get red, and do it to it. And we'll see you next time on the body beat down. Well, that's gonna be tomorrow, back day. Get up, get out, get red, and do it to it.